Hello Revy Run and welcome back. As you can see, we have massed forces approaching the settlement. This is Rome 2, and this, of course, is Ellington. Welcome back. This is a three versus three on the settlement of Babylon. This battle was sent in by the Arverni player here, Uchia Madara. You could obviously tell that by the little yellow around their flag. Now, his allies, right now we can't really see the defenders, but we'll get to them in a bit. His allies, we have got Carthage being commanded by Veronica. And finally, Epirus being commanded by Virgulix. Now, for the defenders, we cannot see them right now. This is a medium Babylon, which is why we don't have the big keep over here. But anyways, we can't see them at the moment, but we have Seleucid being commanded by Imperial Force. We've got Iceni being commanded by Roadrunner. And we have Swaby being commanded by some sort of collection of numbers it's like eight nine seven nine nine eight seven nine eight nine eight 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 nine or something like that what's up with the name come on out of the right hand gate we've got club levy coming out from swaby um you know against a uh, illyrian levy you know that's that's not a fair not a bad matchup nothing really here to like help with that you know um, it's basically just going to be the Illyrian Levy, and they just took a huge... What did they... What? They're down, like, 30 men. Well, I guess they've just lost that many men coming. But the, the Javi Toss was, like, nine kills. Not bad. Club Levy coming in and racking it up, though. Here we go. We got Hillman now coming out from Seleucid. Not, not the greatest unit on the planet. I think the Illyrian Levies could probably take him. Right now, Epirus, really, he's not quite yet bringing really anything. He's got some Italian swords coming up now. A little late. Swaby has plenty of time to walk away from this if he wants to. He only lost 10 men. The Hillman coming in. And just getting wiped up. They have broken down a lot of breaches with more breaches to come. You can see one, two. Uchi and Madara coming in like just... Storm it in with the one chosen sword. You probably don't want to do that. Or it's Celtic War, excuse me. But even then, you know what I mean? You've got a unit here, unit here. You got units over here. You got units over here. Then one poor Celtic warrior just got slaughtered. Another Celtic coming into the more cornered area here. This whole corner now gone. Club Levy came charging back into this combat. They've got 69 kills. <laughs> Giggity. Lear and Levy's taking a Javi toss from the Hillman. Gotta love scrap fights, you know what I mean? Now, with the Mercenary Italian Swords there coming in, this is probably going to be done here in just a moment. Inside the settlement, we've got now Mercenary Gaelic Warriors in from Carthage. Bloodsworn now charging in on a Celtic Warrior that caught flat-footed. Bloodsworn are going to get a bunch of kills here, 33 charge bonus. Especially on a unit that uh, didn't charge back. Yeah, it's going to hurt. There's also no archer support. You know, the archers, if they were up here, you would be nuking those Bloodsworn. Bloodsworn, if they are allowed to go in and get their cycle charges consistently and not get shot, are actually pretty effective units, especially for their cost. You know, so if you're going to let them shoot or, like, charge you, then I, I, I don't know what to tell you. thing is though they've got only 20 armor so you shoot them just pew 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 if i was you i'd bring this over here i'd break something on this wall it would help expose that flank of that defense 
You can see we got Thorax Swords, we've got Blood Sworn, lots of Blood Sworn. I actually kind of dig it, you know, especially if you get a Blood Sworn army that is teamed up with something really tanky. Um, I really like, you know, with like a Tribal Warriors, you know, if you have like an allied army of, uh, of Tylus, the combination of Blood Sworn and Tribal Warriors is pretty nasty. Chosen Swords now taking on the Blood Sworn. That poor Celtic warrior just got obliterated. Where is the unit that got all... Is this... Yeah, this must be the one. 49 kills and then 30 kills on this one. Now, just something to keep in mind. Um, these are on large unit size, not ultra. Um, so the kills are going to be a little bit depressed here. Like, you know, or... Depressed probably isn't the right term, but whatever. The kills are going to be lower, okay? Just due to there's just less men on the battlefield. You know, your your infantry units are only 120 men. Your archer units are only 90, so. This, I think, is, is this the Hillman? No, this is a different Hillman. This is the Hillman that was fighting here. Looks like they actually did pretty well against those Italian swords, or the Gaelic warriors. Yeah, I don't see any of them left, so. This obviously is a fresh Gaelic warrior. 43 kills, and now the Italian swords, 26 kills. Now here's the blood sworn. There we go. There we go. Oh, the javi toss. No return fire from the Italian swords. Oh my god. Look at, oh my lord, 71, 74. Oh, I don't, I don't think he had a whole lot of kills before he charged there. He got a really good javi toss and a really good charge. So 82, 86 kills now. That was a just nasty javelin toss. 72 kills, 68 kills, Chosen Swords at 117. Probably need something here to back up this Chosen Sword. Celtic Warrior's trying to get in through this breach with the Sword Band. To be honest with you, I think I'd wait a little bit for a little more pressure from this direction before trying to push through here. The attacker or the defenders have a much better, you know, setup to defend this than they do to defend this. So, you know, put in your, you know, like this, your chosen sword, let it eat through. But then I would just hold off a little bit over here. Artie coming in, 23 kills. Sorry, I had to take a drink. I think it's the only artillery they've got is the Arverni one. He's got a pretty good, pretty good view here, you know. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, his views cover the majority of the settlement. I think it's going all the way back here. No, there's no way that's the... That can't be the artillery range, not from there. Maybe it is, holy shit. That just seems way longer than usual. Uh-oh, Chosen Sword pulling a little bit out of that position and now charged by a Chosen Spear Band. Chosen Spear Band, interesting choice. Spears are not very good in this game, guys, as a, as a general rule i'm not saying there aren't good spears but as a general rule spears are very underpowered in this game they're not typically worth bringing okay thorough spears there's a reason they're worth bringing they have a lot of javelins okay lots of javelins but they're not there to kill with the pokey pokey you know what i mean they're kill there to support with javelins and kill that way but that's about it. You know, things like the, the Chosen Spear Band, 
Chosen Sword Band is a much better unit. And you still get Javis, but you also get the the punch of the hit. He's just letting loose. 50 kills now. He's got targets back here. I'd say as long as there's good targets, hit it. Over on the right, Thorough Spears taking, and Thorax Swords taking on Thorough Spears from Epirus. Epirus has his main lines back here, Sam Knight Warriors, Royal Peltis. I, I don't like this. Once again, your Thorough Spear is not your frontline unit. Put your Sam Knight in and use your Thorough Spear to Javi. You know what I mean? Or your Italian Swords and Javi with your Thorough Spear. Thorax Sword now 61 kills. And Salukid even needs to get something over here. That Thorough Spear is not going to last super long. Cav coming in, Heavy Horse from um, Arverni, excuse me, getting in on the Britain Slingers. Chosen Spear Band is there, but he's still getting say? some good kills on the Britain Slingers. Got 110 kills. Only one, you know, spear unit. He can only look so many directions or hold so many points. It's too bad he didn't get a Javi toss off. Another one, like as the cab ran away. But the, the heavy horse is just, he's just wants the slingers. Yeah, I would see if you could break this one and then try and get out. Uh, I don't know, Noble Riders coming in from Swaby. It's not a general either, so... Noble Rider isn't, in my opinion, the greatest. I think a Noble Horse is better. Um, noble Horse is a very heavy melee cab, and the Noble Rider is a heavy melee cab. It's a little less mass, so it just doesn't have as much impact. Heavy Horse is gone. 15 kills on the Noble Rider. Celtic Warriors, we got more Chosen Swords coming in. Over here on the far left, we actually have a Celtic Warrior up on the wall over by this tower. Noble Rider just kind of setting up here on the left. On the far right, it's just down this this thorax sword. That's it. So the thorax sword that was guarding the breach is now turning to take that fight. They do have a blood sworn here, but to be honest with you, blood sword ain't guarding no breach. That's not what they do. What you probably want to do here is cycle with this thorax sword, or with this thorax sword. This one might be the better option due to the archer presence, but. Where are their troops? They've got these two units here. They've got a blood sworn archers, but there's nothing over here. Chosen sword breaking off of the chosen spear band. He's going to charge the thorax sword. They need something to go charge this then. I guess you do have a Celtic warrior in there. It's not very, it's pretty hurt though. 99 kills on the Celtic Giant Ballista. He's out of ammo. You got two Chosen Swords back here not doing anything. At the time, they were guarding the artillery, but the artillery is now out of ammo, so you want to move those guys forward. I don't think it'd be a terrible idea to think about pushing this. In fact, I actually don't really know why they aren't. You've got the Blood Sworn. But once again, Bloodsworn is not a hold the breach kind of unit. The other units are pretty far away. They've got a lot of Bloodsworn left from Swaby, but it's all miles away. We got archers moving up. I think they're going to start shooting into the flanks of these Thorax. Gallic Hunter is out of ammo. Still got two of them back here with pretty good ammo on them. 
Here we go. Chosen sword band. Sword band. You got the Kimbri Bow women over here from Swaby. Oh no! Stop pushing forward like this. You're all by yourself. That heroic noble's gonna get you. Silver Shield Sword might even come over to help. They are like pretty well broke through the middle. The problem is now you have this unit that's way out here by himself. And that's not good. Not good. Sorry, I think I bumped my mic right there. Now, the thing about the medium size Babylon, this is the cap point. Usually, that cap point is over here when there's this big keep, but there is no big keep because it's the medium size. Heroic Nobles, 55 kills. They are kind of keeping them a little bit held here. Still bringing in more units. But I see me coming in with this attack might have put a little bit of a damper in their plans. In fact, I would I would keep this attack going. Saluka going forward basically by himself. Why? And not just by himself, it's his general. You have no reinforcements. The only thing here is this Thorax Sword with 30 men. There's some units coming in from Swaby now, but I don't know. I think that's a bit of a risky move here. Sending your general into a, par into a, a point that's honestly basically already lost. If you're gonna charge your, sway, your blood sworn in, make sure you have a clean charge. The thorax was already pretty beat up, so it's probably fine. Yeah, they're getting some kills. Now the right hand side is pretty well collapsed. They finally used the breach. Thorough spears, jabby the shit out of that. Jabby. Oh no, don't. Oh, uh, you're probably out of ammo. That's even worse. What do we say? What do we say to the god of death? Not today. Heroic nobles did go in. In fact, I think two units of them. No, it's a chosen sword. Chosen sword banned so annoying those two units Arverni you have chosen swordsman and I seen you have chosen sword band ooh ooh droidic nobles with their fear effect chant he actually pulled his chosen swords out of that they need to like you know, send in the other, send in the Iceni general here or something, or the, another Bloodsworn. You know, they need something to swap this unit out. Saluka's so general right now is kind of in a bad spot. Bounce power is in the attacker's favor, but this this does not look good over here. They got to do something about that pretty fast. Oh, we got uh, Noble Riders outside the settlement now. 59 men. That's the one from earlier. Valeric Slingers, 51 kills. You got one of the Gallic Hunters actually shooting over here. Think of the Kimbri Bows. this side over here is going badly remember the cap points back here it's not this one it's this one sword band 41 kills chosen spears 22 
Heroic Noble 61. But they're going up against a Sam Knight Warrior. Seleucid's General is gone. Bloodsworn charging into the Sam Knights. 55 kills on the Sam Knights with a Chevron. Bloodsworn 114 kills. Carthaginian General coming in. Well, yes, he is going to get some archers. He is probably going to die here. Yeah, you got to remember the Carthaginian general is only 40 men normally, so he's only 30 men here. And Kimbry Bowerman have spears. Oh, and there's the Javi Toss slash Archer Fire. You got a, two units of Swordmaster sitting back here? What are you doing? Oh, man. Two of your best units on the field today, tucked behind over here in this little corner, not even in the fight. Oh, man, I hate that. I really don't like when people leave their stuff way back at the back. Then you can't use them when you need them. By the time these Swordmasters go into combat, it's going to be way too late. Silver Shield Pikes, that's going to be helpful. But Carthage and Epirus are, I mean, they're just bulldozing through, man. Bloodsworn coming in. Thorough Spears, 98 kills. Bloodsworn probably going to get a pretty good charge here. I probably wouldn't shoot into the combat that has Bloodsworn in it, by the way. They're very squishy, even to your own arrows. What are we doing with our pikes? We're going to send our pikes out into a big open area. I just don't really understand that. Bloodsworn going to chart? Well, no, they're not. Oh, these pikes are so screwed. They still have plenty of archer ammo. They're exposed, out of position. Iceni still doing the Lord's work over here. 71 kills on the noble horse from Arverni. What I would do with this guy right here, I would loop right behind this and blast that pikeman in the back. Oh, yeah, do it. Come on, do it. Where'd you go? This isn't a danger. This is a danger. This is the thing you can't fight, one, like, you know, face to face. There you go. Hundred and twenty one kills. He has taken losses to the archers. To be honest with you, I don't think he has a whole lot of choice though. Noble riders from Swaby came back into the settlement. Here they come. And I seen he collapsed. I think he broke. You gotta remember the Iceni general's dead and they are not disciplined. So general dies, that hurts a lot. I think the Silver Shield Pike is also now gone. But now here comes the Swordmaster in combat. But once again, like I said earlier, now the Swordmaster is just going to get, you know, completely surrounded. Or he's just going to push through a Libyan infantry. Royal Peltis now. What? Nice pull through. Royal Peltis should have got a charge there. 21 charge bonus isn't terrible. There's definitely worse. Got use or uh, headhunt versus use the whip. The whip. Swordmaster's getting the better of this though because he charged the Royal Peltis did not. Doesn't matter though. Here comes the Sam Knight warrior behind him. It's say, hey, I think this is a GG, ladies and gentlemen. This over here, 
was the backbreaker. I almost thought they had it with uh, Iceni and their counterattack over here, but it just wasn't enough. Swaby holding back his units like that, I think, is one thing that really hurt them. By the time that they needed them, they it was too late, you know? There's why I am not a fan of hiding units way back in Timbuktu when the fight is all the way up here. But it is what it is. Life goes on, hopefully people learn. Swordmaster, I mean, this is just the tail end of things. The Kimberly Wim Bow Women might actually beat the Noble Horse. No, army losses. And that is it. Let's go ahead and look at some kills here. So starting off for the attackers, we have Epirus 1421. I'm just not a big fan of the Thorough Spear Army, man. I, It's tough with Epirus because they don't have a whole lot of mid-tier stuff. A lot of their stuff is mercenaries, and mercenaries you can only usually bring like three or four units of them. So it can be a little bit tough, but... You know, the Royal Peltis barely saw combat. Even the, the Samnites barely saw any combat. Archers did very well. Uchiha Madara with 2,040 kills leading the game. Um, we've got, let's see, I mean, all in all, his infantry all did very, pretty well, to be honest with you. You know, remember, the, the numbers aren't going to be as flashy. 234 is pretty good at this, uh, at the large unit scale. Veronica, as, as uh, Carthage, 1941. Archers did pretty solid. Uh, a couple of Libyans did pretty good. I mean, all in all, pretty good. For the defenders, we have Seleucid, 1,008 kills. A lot of just, I think, wasted potential. A lot of stuff thrown in one to one to one. And not very well supported unfortunately and i think that was the big detriment um we've got roadrunner as i seen he. um same thing i just think they didn't support themselves super well i also don't really like this army very much i you, you definitely want to see more of these you know what i mean that's your backbone of your army is is the chosen sword band for i seen he. So, more of a combination of your chosen sword band and some heroic nobles, some sword band. You know what I mean? Try that mixture. I think you will have a lot better success. We've got Swaby with 1289. I actually thought that early on Swaby did pretty good with his Bloodsworn. I wonder if how many Bloodsworn he had kind of got to him, where he just didn't have the micro ability to keep up with the cycle 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 of bloodsworn and with bloodsworn that's what you got to do you got to keep them moving get that charge bonus again and again but that is going to be it for today's battle thank you guys so much for joining don't forget that if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time